Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome to Farm Manager 2018. This is another demo that I've been sent by Playway and we are going to take a look at it. This game is coming out fairly soon. It's a lot different to other farming and sim games that we've played. Uh, this is all about managing the farm rather than doing the individual farm tasks. So there's a few scenarios you can do. I did just take a look at scenario. I'd like to try it in free mode. Just to see what it's going to be like. So we'll go, uh, we'll stick to easy difficulty and plenty of cash, 750,000 so that we can get started. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just do it like that. We're going to do it very, very simple and keep it nice and plain and easy so that we can take a look at what the game will have to offer rather than worrying about uh, having to build things up from scratch. So you can get a good idea of everything that will be available. Right. Hey. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Adam. We went to school together. Your father asked me to help you out a little at the farm, suggested what to look for. Can I show you where the most important things are? Uh, start. Right, that's one of the most important... Okay, uh, basically all this will do is it tells you all about that, so we don't need to worry about this. This bar shows you all the information at the top, and then we've got the stuff around the side. Um, and I looked at this when I just had a very quick look at this game previously. Right. I have to go home because cows need to be milked and then we can call him up if we want to speak to him later. So we've got our farmland right here. We've, we've got this inside this area here. Uh, if you press shift when you're moving your cursor around, it goes a little bit faster. And that's about it. So what you've got to do is you've got to lay out your farm. So first of all, we've got fields, we've got roads, we've got buildings and decorations down here. We've got houses there. So we've got house for permanent employees, house for seasonal employees, and the farm owner's house. We obviously want to have a farm owner's house first. Now you can have it there, you can rotate it round like that. You, It's got to go against the road. Now I'd actually like to put the farm owner's house all the way back there. Uh, but I don't have a road. I need to have a road so that we can access it. So then you've got to go down to here, dirt road or paved road. We're going to put a paved road right there into... Our property. I'm not sure. Where's, where's the front of the house? I think it's that one. I got a feeling it's that one. I mean, I'm thinking maybe we should put a dirt road. We'll, we'll, we'll do that there. Um, you, you got to bring it out like that and just bring it all the way along up to there. There we go. So we now have a dirt road that goes all the way out there. And if we put a dirt road across the front like that, it, I think it'd just make it a little bit easier. You can spin everything round, you can rotate it all round like this, so you can really get a good look at your farm. You see it from all different angles and see what you want to see. Now if we click on this one here, building under construction, waiting for construction materials. And what you're waiting for is a vehicle to come down this road and bring the necessary construction materials. So we can speed things up a little bit. While we're waiting for that, I'm also going to go here into the construction and I'm going to go back to houses and we're going to get a house for permanent employees, which is going to go there. I'm going to rotate that one around a bit and we're going to put that one, it's going to be near to the main farm. We've got the main farm there. We're going to drop that one in there. So that one is now waiting. We've got plus 8,000. If you look here, this is different quests that come up. So we got that one right there. Offer from Ministry of Development. Build a house for permanent employees before 24th of the 7th. You've got the dates up there. Um, and get funding in the amount of $3,000. Okay. So the bits have been delivered. And then you can see it starts being constructed once that's done. That's now done. So then we go here. Take credit. Unique offer in the bank. Take credit. for, um, And the bank will return you part of the money. Save up to $3,000. Off from Labour Office, hire any employee before the 5th of the 8th. Uh, let's just slow that back down again. Um, right, so we've got that we got that one there. We want to go to the bank. So if we go get loan, um, take credit to access the loan to complete training in banking. Uh, I don't actually know how to do that. How do you train in banking? <laughs> Can I do that? Ooh, what's this? Important building your home. Um, do you know what to look out for? Start. Right. Uh, workshop and production management increases the rate of production by ten. Oh, hang on. Right. Well, so I see you got to do you got to do the training there. So you come down through here, buy land there. Um, this basically tells you everything that you need to know. So we, we've done all that. There we go. We're finished. 
We go back to training. We want to do some training in some banking. The warehouse negotiation management. Uh, if we come down here, machinery, labor, law, annual agricultural school. Uh, well, how do I get banking? Uh, farm financial management training. Duration seven days. Training available. Training after. Cost optimizations. Grants. Agricultural land management. If I go here, uh, account history. Debt repayment. Get loans. Training in banking one. Right. So banking one. Well, where do you find banking one? I want banking. I, I need the banking one. Uh, labor law, agricultural machinery. Uh, all right. Let's let's go with the not the, the warehouse, not that one. Um, farm financial training. We'll do that one right there. Can you take others at the same time? Duration time thirty days, seven days. No, you can only do one at a time. So we've we got to wait for that one. To, that one's got to finish. But we've also we want to hire an employee. And if we go here, we can hire like this. And then you can have these as permanent. So we can hire that guy. And then you can choose to put him in there. And you can put eight employees in the same building. So we can go there and we can hire Camilla Trueblood. And you can see that they've got various different levels of training on some of these. Uh, that guy there. Oh, no, lady, sorry. Allegra Louie is four or five on machinery training. So we won't get her. She's pretty good. This one is uh, skill of manufacturing. He's four or five. Zero or five on strength, though. That's that's pretty poor. So he does need actually a, a bit of work on there. You can put eight employees. We got five of eight. So we want to keep going down through, and we want to look through. You can get some really good employees, and this is what we're after. We've got another machinery one there I'm going to hire. And then um, I don't really know which is going to be the most beneficial after this. Uh, someone there, do beekeeping. We can hire that person there for beekeeping. And let's have a bit more of a look around... I don't know, what's that? As, oh, caring for animals. Yes, that would be good. Last person there. Right, so we've now got eight people hired there. Train any worker to max level. Right, train any worker to max level. So if you go down through and you go to the staff list like this, they're on four of five on machinery. Carl here. So if I train 1,800, there we go. He's now fully trained on the machinery level. So that's, that's brilliant. We got that one. We got plus 1,000. We can't take credit yet. That's some of those bits done, right? So we, we were just we're kind of getting started on this, and then we got over here. We got fields. Um, you literally just go like that. You can make a field, and I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna make a field like this. Let's just get started. We'll make a big old field like that. That's um. Oh, it tells you how big the field is. That's as big as you can go. There we go. We got the biggest field that we can get out of that right let's click on here so now we've got plow cultivate soil fertility humidity crop quality we've got um, fertilizing sowing we're going to start by plowing and you can use machines and you can use hand tools we're going to want to do machines for this one we're going to choose there we have no machines so we need to go and buy a machine so we've got uh, there's tractors here we've only got these one tractors here at the moment so we're going to buy uh yeah we'll, we'll buy that one right there can't buy a machine, no garage. Okay, so we want to go and build a garage. Get rid of those. Get rid of you. And we're going to build a machine garage. And we rotate that. I'm going to... No, we're going to keep this area here for the seasonal employees. We want to uh, bring this one over here. We can... Um, I don't know where we should put the garage. I'm going to put the garage here for now. Like that. There we go. So we've got a machinery garage going in there. You've got demolish. You've got warehouse there. You've got market, machinery market. But if we go over to here to buildings and decorations, you've got garages there, which is just ordinary garage. There's parking. Huge concrete screed can be used for parking for large agricultural machines, which does not fit to any other building. has four large parking spaces. Um, that's just in under garages. So then if you go to production, we've got storage for silage. And this one right here, what is this one? Doesn't actually say. Right click to get rid of them. Nope, I want to go to you. Go to you. There. Garage. You. Tell me what you are. It doesn't tell me what it is. I don't know what it is. We've got no idea. But we go to warehouses. We've got manure storage. Medium silos. Small warehouse. And a barn. Barn, a specific type of warehouse. Seeds and plants. Hay. Straw. 
And you've got others over here. This is various different bits. You've got some greenhouses. You can build greenhouses. Wind turbine. We need to be trained in renewable energies for that. Um, and then we've got uh, various decorative items and hedges and fences and stuff like that. Just to kind of improve the whole situation, the, the whole area, make it look a little bit prettier, that sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, they're not designed for storing meat and frozen foods. Uh, max capacity, 50,000 seed and plants, hay and straw and haylages, seeds and plants. So we get various different warehouses and things like that. Uh, let's, let's build a couple of these, I think. If we build... A warehouse uh, I'm just gonna plonk one down right there and then I'm also going to plonk another one right beside it I'm gonna get rid of that go to another warehouse I'm gonna go to one of those as well I'm gonna rotate that one round uh, I'm gonna bring us around this way and I don't know if it should be there I think it should I think we can go like that and then we can build a road up in between it I want a paved road no, 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 no. It's, it's not letting me put the road in between there. Right, we got to uh, demolish that one. Go to you. Demolish. That one's got to go. We'll build the road first. Paved road. We'll put that one. Why wouldn't it go up against there? That's, that seems peculiar that it's... It won't actually go right over to the building. I'm not sure why it's doing that. But I don't like it. I absolutely don't like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demolish that one because I'm not really sure what's going on with it. And we'll try that again. We go. I keep pressing that wrong button. I keep thinking that is constructing of the buildings. Uh, we don't want production. We want a warehouse to go here. So I can bring that one. If I bring that out, it's not actually in the right place. Oh, there. There we go. Now we got it in the right place. And I can go back to here. And then I can go back to the warehouses. And we can get the barn as well. And we can bring that one out. And if I rotate round a little bit, we can drop that one down like that. Perfect! So now we've got the road and we've got the structures coming up as well. We can go over here and we can go back and... Right, manure storage and medium silo. I'm going to build a silo as well. We'll put the silo up next to it up here. So let's drop that one there. Excellent. Right, those three will need to be built. So we've got this one here. This one's now done, which means that we can then go and we can get some machinery. So we go into this one, and we go to plowing. Machine, choose. I want to buy a machine, and I'm going to buy that one right there. So there we go. Select garage. That one's going to go there. I'm going to get... I can get two of them, actually. Oh, we got... That one's okay that we've done some training there. I'm going to get another tractor. Like that. And then we're going to go over here. We need some plowy. Some, some plowies. Plow. Uh, plow road on. This plow is tool to perform plowing. Prepares the field. That's the one that we want. I'm going to buy that one. And that one can go in there as well. Now this one here is the cultivator. So we want to buy that one as well. And that one can go there. So we've got four items in our garage. So we want to choose that one. What do you mean we have no machines? Uh, maybe I need to... Where's where's my where's where's my tractors? I bought tractors. They should be oh maybe they've got to be delivered. No, saying it's there. Right, what are you? This tractor, repair. Repark. Right, can't repair. Can't do anything with it. Can I now plow? Let's try. Let's let's go to machines. It's still I I I can't. You have no machines available. I'm not really sure. So maybe we just need to fast forward a little bit and we've got to wait for them to turn up. So those items are... Ah, there we go. There we go. Right. And there come the other vehicles as well. They're being delivered. Right. So once, they then, once they've turned up, then we can go here. Then we can go... We could put everybody out plowing that field by hand. That is one option. So now if I go in here... Look. I've got a tractor. And look... I'm going to put him on because he's he's got some good experience. And we'll just do it like that. Now that should have the dude. He should come out. Let's speed it up. Look at him. Out he comes. No, there's just somebody just got gone over there. What, what are you doing, person? Zoom in a little bit. Ah, you can zoom right in and you can get a good view of the place. So we've got a person here. But where is our dude who's supposed to be in the tractor? Come on. He 
He's supposed to be, he's supposed to be plowing our field. What are you? Why aren't you working? I must confess I'm a little confused as to why he's not plowing. Machine, choose. Oh, maybe I didn't actually accept it. And him, there. Accept. Have I got to put a second tractor going? Autofill. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Right, you have to have the tractor and then you have to have the plow as well. So you only actually need one tractor going. Right, now we know what we did. So you got the tractor there and then you uh, that one will come out. Over he goes. Into the field. Look at him go. Look at him go. Slow it down a little bit. He is doing a fantastic job. Look at that plowing. Look at that skill. Look at the way he's turning the plow really sharp while it's down in the ground. That is going to be putting a lot of... Let's not look at that. That's, that's just frightening. Um, and we need to figure out what we're going to do with these over here. Right, it's just move. There's just resources in there. Right, so we just have resources in there. We'll see if we can get some animals in a second. Our man has nearly finished the plowing over there. And what we are after, though... We don't want that one. We want this one down here. We want... Uh, it's that one. We want a beekeeper building. We want a small chicken coop. We want a cow shed and a medium. We, yeah, you got you to gotta train up the animals. We want to do a bit of training first, though. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to training. And it's the banking. We want to be able to do some banking, if at all possible. Financial training, cost optimization, right there. Now, this one here is financial training um, increases again. We need, to, we need to train banking. Get loan. Train in banking one. But it won't go to training and banking. This is not fair. So we'll go. We'll go to the financial one. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure that it's all about finances. Uh, production management. See that's again. This is not that. So we'll go over this one. That takes ten days. We're gonna have to go for it. We'll hope that it does eventually. And then you get the the cost optimization three. Oh no, two. And then it unlocks three. Obtain grant. Oh, hang on. Maybe that one will do it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at that one in the, um, afterwards. You can hide that. No, that's just obtain grant. I don't know. It's difficult. It's, it's very, very difficult. Right. Uh, we want to go... And No, we don't. We want, we want to do some building first. We're going to get some... Bee we want a beekeeper. I definitely, definitely want a beekeeper. I really like the idea of having beekeepers. So we will put a beekeeper there. We will also go and we will take a look at the... Small chicken coop. Not so small, really, is it? It's quite a sized chicken coop. If you think about it. We put that one in there. And then we... Uh, the small cow shed. I suspect this one's bigger than we think. Ten... Whoa. Okay, that's actually pretty big. But if we bring that one over here... We can... Actually, we can put that one in there like that. We can dump it right up into that corner. I'm going to put some road around that. I'm going to go for some paved road right here. And I'm going to put that... Like that. And I'm going to bring it in as tight to that edge as I possibly can. Like there. You can't go right in like that, but I can bring it round over here. I can put it in close to the edge of the barn there. And that will bring it in there. We can't put it into that piece there. I, I don't know why it's not letting... And Oh, hang on. That's four. How do, how do I um, increase the size of the paved road so that I've only got it on part of that? I don't know, I'm guessing there must be a way to do something like that, but yeah, I don't really know how it works. So anyway, we have plowed this one, we now need to cultivate it. So you go into this one here, and we're not going to cultivate that by hand. We're going to go in here, we're going to choose a tractor. We're going to go in here, we're going to choose our man who's good with the tractors, and we go there and we choose the cultivator, and accept. So that one's going to start working there. Now we've got two tractors, so we're going to build another field. So go over there. That field can go right there like that. I'm going to make this one as big as it can go. There. Right click. That field there. I'm going to go plowing. Machine. Choose. As you know, before we do that, what I'll do is I'll check our workforce. If we go to there to our workers, we can then go to the staff list here. Now, that guy's five of five. We've got a beekeeper there, Dion Bumgarner. She's five of five, so she, she can do the beekeeping. Camilla Trueblood is 4 of 5 on strength, maximum working time without rest. Allegra Louis, you are the one. I want to train you up in machines. There we go. And so then I can go onto here and I can go to plowing machine. 
Choose a tractor, that one. Choose a person, you. Choose a machine, the plow. Accept. And she's going to go out and plow that field. That person there is going to keep cultivating. We need to get another um, area for machinery, which we're going to put down right there. And then when we've got that area for machinery, we're going to go... No, we're not going to go there. We're going to go to the garage. We're going to go to that one. We're going to rotate round. And... There is where we're going to build that one. Which means that we will then be able to buy... We need to get a seed drill. And we'll probably have to get a few other bits and pieces as well. So we can f jump forward. We can start fast forwarding in time just a little bit. So there's our woman on the tractor, uh, on the plow out there. She's just getting lined up. Bet with a neighbor. Prove that you are the best farmer in the area and grow 10 chickens before 4th of the ninth to win almost $10,000. Right. In order to do the chickens, you've got to assign somebody to chickens. So this person here, Lakeisha is the person that we're going to assign on there. Animals, I'm going to buy... Uh, I, you know, I don't know. We're going to, we're going to buy 15 chick. We're going to buy 15 chick uh, 16 chickens, like that. And then allowed food, auto-manage. I got no food. This is a problem. We've we got to get some food. So we got the 16 animals in the building. They'll be here soon. Lakeisha, no. Right, training method, okay, so the training, I mean, just go, let's just um, put that back a little bit. I want to go into the workers training again. I've got a staff list, and we've got Lakeisha here somewhere. Where are you? Lakeisha Watkin. Uh, what did it say under there? Staff list. It actually, oh, working at building small chicken coop, right there. So we go there. We want to train her up in animal care, so we train her right up to five of five. That's going to make her better for working there. Game saved. Okay. And we go back to this one here. Oh, no. Mar I guess we have to go to the market because we've got to be able to find a way to get them some food. So if we go to... It's not the machines market that I want to go to. We want to go to this market right here. Uh, sell. Uh, right. Buy. We're on. Spraying chemical, liquid, manure, apple, lupine, grass, pumpkin, tomato, wheat, crops... Lupine seeds. Right, see, it's there is a lot of depth to this game. Right? You, you really sort of get, start to get lost in this game. Really, uh, Your animals are ready for breeding. Okay, show. I don't understand what that means. I guess you just hold them there. Allowed food. That's on auto man. It, ah, I see. Call inseminator. We'll do that. Right. Um, come out of there. I want to go... Yeah, let's go back to the market. We want to try and buy some wheat to feed the chickens. Wheat. Is that price? I don't know what that is. This price. Uh, let's buy 500. 280. What's that? To Current price is 56. In storage, zero. In delivery. Auto trade, zero. Buy. Right, uh, in delivery is now 500 kilos of that. I'm also going to buy some lupine. And I'm going to buy 500 of that as well. Buy. That is now in delivery. And I think grass as well. 500. Buy. The reason that I'm buying all of this stuff is because I think the chickens need a balanced diet. And it does help. So we want, we've got straw there. You've got crops. Is crops uh, actually the hay? I've got a feeling that that's hay. You've got straw there. You've got crops. I think that's for cows. Right, let's buy 500 crops. I don't know what crops is. I've no idea what that means. Let's do that. Buy that one. And then crop... Uh, no, straw right there. We'll also buy 500 of that. And buy. Right. That is also in delivery. So we've got this one. This is crops in delivery. Grass and straw is all in delivery there. Uh, small warehouse... There, so what about you? Ah, there we go. We got that. Uh, 500 kilos of wheat in delivery and lupine in delivery as well. So then we go to the cows. We need so we, we need somebody who can be a caregiver. So we got we got Dion there who's going to be our beekeeper. So we go to the beekeeper. I go there. Dion, you are definitely my beekeeper. So we got hives. Here, I want to buy some hives. Oh, I see. You've got, you got to get the hives. You've got to place them around. Do you, do you just buy the hives and you put them right next to the beekeeper? Or do you put them everywhere? I'm going to put one there. I'm going to 
Why can't I put one there? Put one over here. Oh, you got to put them... Right, you do actually have to put them close by to the... Uh, the beekeeper themselves. You, you've got you've got to put these hives around. So let, let me let me um, just put some beehives around like this. I mean, if I got low amount of food in animal buildings, yeah, I've, I've, we got some on on the way. So there is all of our beehives, and you can look, you can see there's hives going everywhere. That hive there needs to be rotated around. I don't know if you can do that afterwards. Show. Allowed food. Right, we've got some food there now. They've got the food has turned up, or some of the food has turned up. Uh, if we look over, yes. That's turning up as well. Lupine is in delivery. Look at him. He's busy unloading a load of stuff. We got to... Uh, yeah, it's all in delivery as well. Okay, this is excellent. Everything is being delivered exactly as we want. So it's, it's all coming in. And we got eggs going out as well. Uh, right. Next up, we need a seed drill. So we want to go to the machinery market like this. And we want to go to a... No, we don't want a trailer. We don't want a combine. Moa planter. Precision cedar. That's the one that we want. We want that one right there. I'm going to buy you. Uh, put you in parking. And then I need to go. I need to buy some seed as well. So we have to go back to the market over here. Uh, no, not that one. We need to go. No, not that one. We want to go to that one. There we go. Antifungal sprays. Chemical fertilizer. So we've we got all these seeds. We've got grass seed, lupine seed, pumpkin seed. I want lupine seeds. I want those. And I'm just going to... I guess 100? I don't know. I've, I've got no idea. Growth time, 95 days. So we'll buy the lupine there. Have we got any wheat that we can buy? And, ah, wheat seed. There we go. I'm going to buy that as well. I'm going to buy 100 of those. So I'm hoping it would be able to use both. This field here, this needs to be cultivated. Soil humidity, soil fertility. Excellent. Right, so we go to machines. Choose a tractor. Choose a person. Choose a cultivator. Choose her to drive the tractor because she was working this particular field okay and she will come out and do that one this one here is ready we're just waiting for delivery of our machine i'm gonna speed some time up a little bit what do we got up here low amount of food for animals in the building i got 22 animals there allowed food right they got wheat so they need sunflowers corn rye oats and i'm guessing that sort of improves the quality of them if you get more of them, it, it does improve the quality. There was another thing that I wanted to do, which was I wanted to go to the workforce. I want to go to the staff list down here. And I want to get rid of some of these. We got Camilla Trueblood there. She's just strength. I'm going to release her from her contract. And then I'm going to go back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to our workforce over here. And these are people that you can hire. So we want somebody who's good with animals. And it is going to be Dan DeVries. He is good with animals. And I'm going to put him in there. So then, young Daniel, where are you? Daniel? Daniel, son, where are you? Higher? Oh, staff list, there. Train any worker to level 5 to get a reward of 1,000. Right, Daniel, son, where are you? Uh, there is Dan. And I want to train him animals. There we go. And we got a reward. Train any worker to max level. That has been done now. We've got the seed drill. The seed drill is ready. So I can go here and I can plant fertilizer. No. Sorry. I'm not going to do the fertilizer yet. I'm just going to go to this one. I'm going to go choose. And we're going to plant lupine in this field. And then we're going to go to choose here. We're going to take a tractor. We're going to choose Carl Palais. Uh, what? Apparently lupine needs a different... Oh, we need one of those. I thought it was the precision one, but it's not. So we can buy that one, and that's going to go in there. Okay. So that's that's for planting lupine in there. So uh, we've got to wait for that machine to be delivered before we can do anything there. This field over here, this one has now been does cultivated. Soil, fertility. Yes, we're going to do that one. We're going to go sowing. We go machines. Going to go choose here, and I'm going to... This one I want wheat. I've got some wheat seed. And you, I'm going to take a tractor, choose you, Allegra, and I need that seed drill. So what's the other seed drill for? We need to go and have a look at that. You will consume for this action about 58 kilos of seed. Right, she's going to carry on and do that. We want to take a look over here and see what that is, precision cedar. What are you for? I don't understand. This allows... Hang on a minute. Go back to here. So we've got... There's a planter right there. This one... Oh, purpose. Potatoes and tomatoes. This one... Ah, that is for planting pumpkins. I don't want to plant pumpkins. I want this one. Seed drill. 
Right. Basically, I think I've shown you a fair bit of this farm. I mean, we, we get the, the, the new guy here, so he'll go there, and then you can go to animals, and we can get a few of those come in. You've, you've seen what the game now has to offer. So you manage your farm, and you can grow bigger and bigger and bigger. I think you can also expand out your land a bit further later on. I'm not really sure. This is just the demo version. There will be a full version released later on. There is all different kind. There is all sorts of things that you can do. And it's basically, you don't have to worry about the, the tasks because all the workforce deal with the tasks. All you got to do is deal with the bigger picture. And... For some people, this is not going to be really their thing. But for other people, this is going to be exactly what you've wanted from the first moment you ever played Farming Simulator um, to be able to do the full-on management side of things rather than anything else. So it's here. This is an absolutely wonderful game. It's absolutely awesome. I think it is fantastic. Uh, we've got... See, you've got honey up there. And we've now got honey. We've got multi-flower honey here. We've got chicken eggs we got various different things that are starting to be accumulated that we can, um, we'll be able to package up and we'll be able to sell. There's factories that you can process stuff with as well. You, you can go full industry with this. It's absolutely brilliant. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. There will be a link in the description down below for the demo for this one or for the Steam page for the demo. Um, but... The actual game itself is not out just yet. Um, well, actually, I don't know if the link is to the demo or to just the um, the Steam page. But the game is coming out soon. So when it's out, please get it. Enjoy it. I think this one is going to be absolutely brilliant fun and will definitely be worth... It's, de it's definitely going to take up several hours of your time. You, th there is so much you can sort of lose yourself with it in this game it's going to be absolutely brilliant but that's all i've got time for now so until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later